to go find out. And according to his journal that they found much later, he he basically met with UFOs, Nazi UFOs. What? Yes. Nazi this, UFOs. The Nazis. The Nazis had a like a flying saucer. Ha, ha, had made a deal basically <gasps> working with inter. What? You've never heard this. No. It's the greatest story ever, bro. <laughs> It's the greatest so story. So the Nazis made a deal with the aliens? Yes. Holy For shit. For technology, and the deal was they were going to work together, okay? I know this sounds crazy. <clears throat> so basically the aliens go down and and Klaus Schwab's dad go down and meet with Eisenhower. It's going to be like, we could, we could either do it one way or the other way. We could do it nice or we can do it the wrong way. And that's where they say Eisenhower made a deal with these aliens mm. that... They could kidnap people and do experiments, but they couldn't just do it anywhere. They had the they had specific places, which were our national forest. What? Uh, yeah, dude, you've never heard of this. <laughs> 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 You're making this sound no. as if this is like a story that is commonplace. It I, well for my people, it is. D D Jamie, help me out here. This if you heard the story, brand new. <laughs> you've never uh, heard of this. <laughs> I You've had... never heard of Operation High Jump, bro? <laughs> I feel like I've heard of that, but I haven't, not in this context. This sounds amazing. Please keep going. Right. And so, this is uh, where the missing the... 411 come from. The missing information? What missing information? No, the missing 411. What do you mean by that? Which is all these people have mysteriously disappeared in force. And oh, they don't you're know not how. talking about the missing 411 like information. No, no, no. The, the, so missing 411 is a, the number of people that have been yeah, abducted. Yeah, and it, it's all really weird because they all have a, like a, a lot of similar characteristics. German born, like German background. Excuse me. Highly intelligent, and it like I don't know how weird you want to get, bro. But I want to get weird. Okay, bro. They think like the, this might be some time traveling Nazi shit, bro. <gasps> I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but it's true, dude. That's what they believe, and they made who is a deal. These they, these they folk. Who, who? When who, you say they believe, who are these they? The people? conspiracy people. Are they united on? <laughs> no, there's a whole different. There's a lot of uh, warring factions. clans, bro. <laughs> there's a lot of warring clans, dude. But that one how is, deep do you want to go? What is interesting is how advanced the engineering of the Germans was. You know, it's really interesting when you think about car manufacturers like Audi. In Volkswagen, in Mercedes, it's all out of BMW. BMW didn't BMW make engines for Nazi fighter pilots? I think that's what they first started off doing. They all did, bro. But I, I mean, think that's what BMW did, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. And then we were and Audi made Hitler a car. <laughs> yeah, Hitler had a race car. That Audi was never part of their marketing plan, though. Yeah, that would have been a crazy campaign. What does it say there? So, nineteen thirty-nine. BMW 801D piston piston radio. radial aircraft engine and national origin is Germany. So, World in, War II planes. Th in that year, they made World War II planes. They made engines for World War II planes. This is wild, man. <coughs> I mean, IBM was making stuff to, for these camps too, dude. It's crazy. IBM, yeah, like they had computers. We've talked about that before. Yeah, right. What was that? There's a book. <laughs> I, uh, what did they do? They were make. It was the precursor to actual computers. It was like a uh, filing system to keep Ye track of stuff. Yeah, of who was where and what into these oh, camps. That's right. I'm remembering this. And and then you, oh yeah, man, it gets super and weird. So that, but the it place was called IBM, right? Was it called something else? I think I think it was, was IBM. Book. Yeah, the book is called IBM and the Holocaust: The Strategic Alliance Between Nazi Germany. I mean, you and ain't fucking around with that title, huh? <sighs> That title is rough. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, if you're IBM, straight you to the be point. Like, Fuck, did we do that? <laughs> did we really do this? I don't the strategic what. alliance between Nazi Germany and America's most powerful corporation expanded. Interesting. So the, <clears> the <throat> area in, of Antarctica they went to was New, New Schwabenland. New Schwabenland. Do you think that's why he dresses with the space? One hundred percent. Dun 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 yeah. dun dun dun. So they're all in contact with the aliens. I think, well, dude, I mean, it, it gets into, uh, see, a lot of people think this is about power and money. What do you think it's about? It's spiritual war, dude. This is, uh, these people got all the money and all the power. They got more than they could ever want. I think they want complete control. But that gets into spirituality, not just complete control, but lowering your vibration and, and, and jacking your loosh. 
Hmm. Your but spirit you think, energy. You think they're doing that consciously, or do you think they're doing it like uh, they're chasing the economics, and along the way, it actually becomes a spiritual battle because everything is a spiritual battle. I think it's done purposely. I think they're they're, they're evil. I think I think they're they're at low low. There's low frequency stuff going on, and they've made deals with people and things, and that's why things going on. That was very ambiguous, but I understand where you're going with it. Okay. I mean, if you want me, I just don't want to get too weird too fast, bro. But <laughs> too I'm, fast. I'm like... We just opened up. We're good. I uh, I 100% believe this is a spiritual war and that these people are working with dark entities, and that's what this is all about. L let's imagine this. If there was, like, uh, an alien race that came here from another planet and gave just a random group of people uh, technology. Yeah. Gave them an understanding of things and how to do things. How much of a record do you think they would keep of that? Wouldn't that be something that people would want to talk about? Yeah, but that, but that's the beauty of the internet, that we're now able to do that. We could never do that before. So that, you think that's what the story is about? That the story is about they went there and they met with aliens and the aliens gave them information? I mean, Hitler was really into the occult. Yeah, no, like he, he would was. send people all over the place. No, he had a lot of bad ideas. Yeah, he had a lot <laughs> of bad ideas. But see, the occult has a negative connotation to it. Not everything involved with the occult is negative. What the occult really means is secret. Secret. So there's not as much. That's around. what the word means. Yeah, it's basically no. mean. It means like it's hidden. I, I always associate it with people that believe in silly shit. <laughs> When someone starts talking about the occult, I'm always like, mm, how do you feel about ghosts? You know, how do you feel? About, like, when people tar start talking about, like, dark magic, I'm like, for real? For real? You sure? I believe in that there's some energy manipulation, but... Um, I don't disbelieve. Yeah. I don't disbelieve. Listen, I like, I, I, I don't know what's going on. I just kind of read stuff, and I'm like, D how does this fit into the puzzle, right? How does this fit into the jigsaw of life? And you start looking around and you just start going, okay, man, this is interesting. That is interesting. This starts to make sense.